What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I have for you guys, we're going to be talking about Black Ops 6 Zombies, the early access. Apparently there may even be a Zombies beta. We're going to be talking about all that here in today's video. So if you do find it informative or helpful at any point, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. A quick reminder, yesterday a huge amount of leaks, probably the biggest amount of leaks in Call of Duty history surfaced. And that was due to a guy with a jailbroken PS4 having full access to a dev build of Black Ops 6. So he was able to get early gameplay footage footage showcase what the menu looked like the actual gameplay the omnidirectional features all the brand new weapons the new maps and all that stuff so i did discuss and talk about all those details yesterday in the meantime call of duty started striking down everyone who started posting those videos so if you actually posted some gameplay of it or you saw someone that did there's a likely chance that activision saw that too and then they have copyright strike them and remove them there's still a bunch of different clips floating around whenever we get new black ops 6 gameplay i usually do quote tweet the leak so if you guys want to see the latest call of duty black ops 6 gameplay and all that information definitely make sure you follow me on twitter because they usually don't last long they'll stay up maybe around an hour or two and then they get taken down and i'll try to quote tweet them so you guys can see as much of the gameplay as you can but i'm not able to put them in any of the videos so i just wanted to let you know about what's been going on this weekend and a lot of people have been hyped to get their hands on the game themselves people are asking when the beta date is and some people were asking where are these zombies leaks because yesterday was all focused on multiplayer and now the marketing side of things for black ops 6 is in regards to zombies we saw those teaser trailers the truth dies.com and that's what we're expecting and what we're going to see for this next upcoming week but most importantly there is something big that apparently could end up happening here for black ops 6 and that is early access to zombies i know a lot of you guys are interested in the zombies round base is coming back for the first time in a couple years and that's what you're probably focused on more than the multiplayer itself so let's go ahead and talk about the current schedule that we have right now there's all these trailers and teasers that we did talk about in the last couple of videos but one thing hasn't revealed yet and that is the entire cinematic trailer that is scheduled to go live before call of duty next they did the same exact thing with modern warfare 3 last year and then at the same exact time when they introduced the cinematic trailer which i'm gonna guess is probably gonna come out maybe tomorrow or within the next couple of days next upcoming week for sure and that's when we're gonna get the whole storyline what's going on with zombies what's happening to the team and all that good stuff and then at the very end of the trailer which a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a while is gonna be the reflect 115 camo being announced so as you guys know over in the menu it appears for some people and it doesn't appear for others but there is a reflect 115 camo that is set to arrive as a pre-order reward it's gonna be granted automatically to your mw3 account it doesn't matter when you pre-order the game as of right now the camo itself is not live but it will go live as soon as that trailer ends up dropping and my guess is the trailer is coming out this next upcoming week for the reason that because call of duty has been hyping it up with the truth dies and they were doing that all of last week the reason why the last couple days they haven't is because the marketing team doesn't work on weekends so more than likely they're going to come back and continue these teasers starting this upcoming monday tomorrow and then they're actually going to drop the cinematic trailer and get us hyped for zombies now one thing that they also did confirm is that we're going to get to see early gameplay footage of zombies during cod next and for the first time in cod next they're actually going to allow creators to play zombies because last year we ended up seeing a little bit of a zombies panel but they never let creators play it and we never got to see actual gameplay other than the pre-recorded gameplay that the devs ended up recording just to showcase what it looked like but you weren't really able to see the game itself live and this time they have promised that they are going to be allowing creators to actually access zombies so during cod next you're not only going to get to see the multiplayer access you're also going to get to see a little bit of warzone and then you're also going to get to see these zombies and one thing in my opinion is i feel like it would be completely unfair for them to allow the creators to play zombies and then make everyone else wait all the way up until october 25th to get access to the zombies in my opinion that's just not fair the good news though is there's apparently going to be an early access available for zombies according to an insider so windowscentral.com which is actually a very reliable source they ended up posting this and they actually posted this on november of 2023 so this was almost a year ago and they said exclusive call of duty 2024 is indeed going to be black ops is going to be set in goal four in the early 90s which they actually got right and then they also mentioned they said it's going to be focused on the cia which is indeed right because the main characters are pretty much they left the cia and that's how like the whole storyline is going and then on top of that they talked about how 
there is going to be a Black Ops Zombie Early Access. So here's exactly what they said. We've also heard that Activision is exploring a large pre-order Early Access bonus for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And what I found interesting is they said Black Ops 6 back in November when everyone thought it was Black Ops 5. So they knew a lot of information. And then they said with several days for the base game and maybe even weeks for access for the Zombies mode, Activision Blizzard has leaned heavily into the pre-order for Early Access trend recently. And then they talked about World of Warcraft. Now here's a couple of reasons why I believe that they are accurate. First off, everything else that they mentioned has already been confirmed. We've seen through the directive confirmed with devs and we already know about now and they knew all about this a year in advance. And then on top of that, if you notice with the Call of Duty marketing and the pre-ordering, they usually will throw all the most important benefits right away. And one of the most important benefits that they usually would let you know is that you would get early campaign access a week before the game would launch. And that's something that they would do every single year. This is the first year that they have not talked about that. They haven't mentioned anything about it and they've been very quiet. That means a couple of things. Number one is the reason why is because they want to focus more on the marketing of the zombie side of things, making it so that maybe the early access will come in for zombies rather than for campaign. In my opinion, it wouldn't make sense for them to include both. It's either campaign or it's either zombies. And last year with like all the bad news and all the feedback that they got for MW3, they're probably going to stick a little bit more towards zombies and try to hype that up and give early access for that one. I ended up making this concept right here where I showcase a photo because there's two ways that they they can introduce this early access. Number one is it can end up being as a pre-order open beta. So you'll need a code. They'll send you a code if you end up pre-ordering the game and you'll get beta access very similar to how it is with multiplayer. If you notice multiplayer, we're getting the beta at the end of August, which means that if this beta is the only thing that we get, we'd have to wait the entirety of September and then the majority of October and wait all the way until the end of the month. That's almost a two month long wait for us to get access to Black Ops 6 once again. And I promise you those two months are going to be the most boring that we've ever seen because then we'd have to go right back to mw3 so they understand that and more than likely they're probably going to introduce something in between that and the guess is maybe a zombies beta and this photo is complete concept that I ended up creating, but this is something along the lines of how I would believe they would end up marketing it if they decided to do a beta. The dates I put towards the beginning of October ended up putting the first two weekends, but that's how I would personally think they would end up doing that beta. And then on top of that, if they decide to go the other route, which is like the campaign early access, it's as simple as the game being available for you to download and play seven days before it officially launches. So because it releases on the 25th, you'll be able to access it the Friday before around the 18th and then you'll have an entire week to get to enjoy and play zombies and then the game will fully release and then you can jump into multiplayer or whatever else you want to do or the campaign but there's a couple of questions that may surface from this is number one we have two round based zombies that are going to be coming out at the same time which one are they going to let you play? I don't think they're going to allow you to play both of them. And number one, you have to understand that Terminus is a very detailed, I guess, uh, storyline focused map. It has a lot more going on than the other counterpart, which is called Liberty Falls. So more than likely, Terminus is going to be saved for the full game release, while Liberty Falls is probably going to be the one that they'll give you early access to. I don't think it's going to be the one that will deal heavily into the crew, the storyline, the Easter eggs. So there may not be as much to discover with Liberty Falls, so they won't really worry about giving you early access to that. Maybe even the creators over at Cod Next, they get to play zombies early. They're probably going to get to play Liberty Falls. I feel like this is the best way to not really ruin the zombies experience and spoil anyone for anything. And that way people could casually enjoy the game and actually get to play round based zombies at the same time. But what are your thoughts and opinions? Would you like to see Terminus Island or would you rather see Liberty Falls or you just want to play zombies in general? What are your thoughts and opinions on that? But that's what I'm currently expecting as of right now, based on the insider information we're going to get a little bit more news on that as of right now they haven't really talked or announced or confirmed anything because they still haven't even introduced zombies fully yet so once we actually get zombies introduced we get that blog post that we're expecting to arrive before call of duty next that's when the pre-order bonuses are going to start coming in that's when they're going to tell you oh zombies may get early access you'll be able to play it early they're not going to tell you you're going to get to play something early before you even know exactly what you're going to get to play so first we got to let the marketing do its thing and then after that we'll know everything that we need to know and regards to zombies but what are your thoughts and opinions on this would you rather play zombies early access or would you rather play a campaign let me know down in the comments i hope you found the video informative i'm super excited for black ops 6 i have a lot of other videos scheduled for you guys so don't forget to subscribe but it's been your boy chisel thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys again peace